Why did I make Aliyah? Nefesh Benefesh asked me to make a video about that question. My name is Zach Lenig. I make fun videos about Dafyomi. I moved to Israel three and a half years ago. I was in Yeshiva for about three and a half years. I really just fell in love with the country. I feel like when I was here, everything was very clear. I understood what I wanted. On the simplest level, and I really believe it's true, almost across the board, I came here because I wanted to be close to God. I don't feel like anybody really moves to Israel for comfort. There's some energy about this place that I just wanted to be a part of. I just wanted to set up roots here and make it my home. And I really feel like God has opened up his arms and welcomed me into the land. Thank God a year and a half ago, I married my wife. Five months ago, I had a daughter. And the more I'm here, the more I feel like I belong here. The more I feel rooted, secure, and comfortable, really. For thousands of years, we were not even able to come to our homeland. And now we are. Also, there is an organization like Nefesh Benefesh that will help you get acquainted with everything that you need. This is another day, and there is another time. Off is Tzadi Dalit, and that's 94, and it also means a size. But then there's a guy, and he gets married, and his wife goes across the sea for a while, and then it's reported that she's dead. Oh, man. So the guy figures, all right, well, that's that. Let me go marry her sister. The obvious move. Yeah, by the way, apparently the obvious move in the Gemara is just so not the obvious move in a lot of people's lives. But wait, turns out she's still alive. Yay! Is it yay? And as we all know, you can't be married to two sisters. Unless, of course, you're Yaakov Avinu. So what can he do? Does he need to get divorced? Can he hold on to his original wife? Does he need to have the second wife? What's the deal? Are his kids momsers? How did I let in you've almost to find out? Have a great day, everybody. Bye.